Okay, everyone, today we are heading into Decentraland, the decentralized metaverse project. And uh, this is basically just going to show you, if you're interested in exploring Decentraland, how this process works. So you do not need anything at all to play Decentraland or to enter Decentraland. If you play as a guest, the first thing you're going to have to do is just add in basic details like what do you want to be called in Decentraland for this session, and then also, you know, create your avatar. What's your, I don't know, hat color, t-shirt. So once you've got your avatar, you can head in. And it's going to look a little something like this. Loading. Ready to get on the blockchain, bro. So, this is where we're starting off. I'm using the mouse as my kind of like where I'm going to look. And then I'm using the W key to go forward, D to go right, A to go left. And also S is backwards. And if you want to toggle the view to go between third person and first person, it's V. So there we go. Also, a couple more options before we begin. To, in order to actually be able to use my mouse, seeing as it is my view right now, I can press escape and then the mouse cursor is back like that. And hopefully I can toggle here to turn the mic on, for example. So yep, now the mic is on. Mic is on, mic is off. The chat box is here. Hello world. Let's uh, make sure everyone knows that we're here. All right, so yeah, Genesis Plaza. This is where everyone lands. So there's also this thing here, like where you can jump down this pool. God, it's one of those players are stuck there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wow, okie dokie. And away we go. And you end up in this kind of like Silicon Valley looking bar where people, you'd think they were talking, but really I think they're just kind of low key staring at each other. Honestly, I've tried to talk to so many people here and it's not really worked. So we got this octopus sort of thing here, painting. We can talk to him. Let's have a quick gander outside here. Uh, yeah, looking lovely. Again, we got someone here. You can click on people like this and view their profile. And if they've got like NFT collectibles and stuff, you can check that out. You can also block them. Like, uh... Okay, we've got an NFT hallway here. You get these random things here, right? Because you can have your NFTs on display in Decentraland. A lot of people buy parcels of land here and display their stuff. So that's what people have done. And then you can hit to get more info. And look at this, you can actually view on OpenSea and potentially buy it or cancel it. So yeah, so we've got this button on the top with the map. Uh, we can see all the players online right now. That's everyone that's in Decentraland right now, I believe. That's showing us the exact location we are, minus two, minus three. And then if we click the map, this is it. There's Genesis Plaza in the middle. There's everything up here, Soho Plaza, Vegas Plaza. Uh, yeah, we've got the casino over this way, we've got Decentraland University over that way. A few different things over here, and, you know, we've got, um, you know, usually you get like the red dots as well. You can see people and see where they are. So anyway, I've been to Sotheby's the other day, it was quite fun, so let's click on this. Let's go look at the Sotheby's area and hit jump in. So that's it. You click on a parcel of land, little square, and you click jump in. And boom. Aha! Sotheby's. For this we got the poster over here, Banksy Live Auction, bids in ETH. Okay, let's head in. Got some nice music playing, I'll have to put some classical tune on the back of this. Oh, look, yep, yeah. Banksy Live Auction this way. Uh, okay, yeah, love is in the air, let's have a look at it then. And there it is, aha! So if I click this, I should get some info, and there we can actually go and participate in the auction. I'm not going to do that right now, but yeah. There it is, and if we head into the other room, I think there's a, an exhibition on right now, this Trolley Hunters thing, yep. Yeah. So look at that, we go down here, you can kind of hear some stuff and look at that as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty fun. Um, the casino, that sounds fun, right? Let's go look at the casino. Bam, jump in. All right, here we go, the Atari casino. Wow, stretch limos, hello. I just wish I could get in one of these things, do you know what I mean? I just forget like I'm not on Fortnite. I can't just like break everything and get in everything that I want. God, this is really not loading properly, is it? Yeah, okay, I'm not a fan of this. Let's get out of here. The Atari Casino has driven me a little bit insane, I have to be honest. Uh, the Aquarium. Sounds fun, right? We're going to the Aquarium. More limousines, more loud music. Okay, the Aquarium. Let's head in. What can we do in here? Ah, okay. Looks like we can participate in some sort of games. Red, yes, okay. Right, so I've put 10 on red. That took absolutely forever. Yep, place the bet. Let's go. Spin wheel. Yep. Okay, here we go. Am I going to win? Got 10 on red. 
virtual currency in a virtual world, and I won. Now I've got 20 imaginary pounds in this imaginary world. Um, but like I say, I'm pretty confident you can actually use mana tokens and do this for real. So I could have just won something. We should go to somewhere completely different. Club Nyankat. Hey, let's check out Club Nyankat. Oh my gosh, there it is. Whoa, look at this thing. Okay. Nyan Cat Gallery. Alright, alright. I'm excited, I'm excited. Hello. Oh, okay, look at that. Yeah, wow. Mexican Nyan Cat. Um, great, Irish Nyan Cat. Yeah, okay. What else have we got here? Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, lots of, lots of Nyan Cats. Okay, wow, cool. Oh, wow, they're, they're really running along the wall there, aren't they? Is that it? Is this the whole of Nyan Cat Gallery world thing? Because if it is, I'm not even low-key disappointed. I'm just very disappointed. Cryptonthropy. I mean, Asian Plaza sounds interesting. Let's have a look what Asian Plaza looks like. James says today was talking about how he just re-watched all the Office series 1, 2, and the Christmas special in like a couple of days. And I was like, you've charmed me. Uh, what have we got here? New shop. Oh, wow. What is this thing? The Holy Ones. Okay, big, big old thing for that. And this is Asian Plaza. Okay, right. We've got pretty uh, Japanese garden and stuff. Yep. Pink trees. Forgotten the name of them, but yeah, we love them. But So it's going to show me some trending stuff on that top bar. Decentralized game, community, and ice, the NFT Creep Museum, started 45 days ago. Okay, you know, we've got the quick links to go to some of the key stuff. Cannabis Dispensary, fair. Atari Casino, well, we went there, that wasn't very good, was it? The Aquarium, the Aquarium's class. Played um, roulette with fake money, one fake money. We'll have a look at this uh, NFT Creep Museum. Sounds interesting. NFT Creep Museum. Great, let's do it. Um, oh god, it's semi-frozen on me. I'm going to toggle the view for a little bit, just at the last couple of things we're going to look at here. Pressing V again to switch to first person, so... Let's have a little bit of a walk around in the first person, shall we? Can I go up to these robot things? Hello, robot things. Can I interact with you? Apparently not. Don't know what they're up to, really. Seems kind of sinister, though, right? The Infinity Engine. Don't know what that is. Gosh, I mean... This was featured as well, do you know what I mean? This was featured on that that section of the map, like, cool stuff, and just nothing here. That's kind of my feeling in general about Decentraland as I travel around it, like, so much potential, because, yeah, people can just build whatever they want, but, like, ultimately you end up with lots of really cool NFT galleries, some cool virtual games, and then a hell of a lot of empty, unused space, which just feels kind of odd because you know at the same time as you're visiting all this empty dead space that it's being sold on the internet for hundreds of thousands of dollars so it's like mind-boggling because i would love to build something really cool in this i can't because i've not got like 20 grand to waste but um yeah i uh, i don't know what to say um data uh, dap craft experience festival roads ah oh, now that looks cool right okay this is the last one we're checking out festival roads jump in uh, that looks quite fun so it's basically a fun fair yeah oh look at that metaverse festival okay yeah it's a, it's a metaverse festival oh, of course it is it's a it's a festival <laughs> okay what have we got merch evolution stage techno stage acoustic stage fun fair uh okay well i can see Again, running a decentralized uh, festival inside Decentraland makes perfect sense. Here we go, Focus Wheels 2035, maybe. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, selling merch, I mean, it makes perfect sense. I mean, merch is going to end up being NFTs for a lot of things in the future, I imagine. So that sounds like it makes perfect sense to me. And this is the main stage. And, oh, I have just got some loud music in my ears. I guess this is, oh, yeah, we're at some sort of, like, pool party thing. This is very cool. Okay. Yeah, finally, we've come across a section of uh, Decentraland that's inspiring me. Don't know what this is, or who runs this, or who owns this. Big Ligas presents the world stage. Okay, so it's, it's Big Ligas is uh, <laughs> who runs this section. Okay. Yeah, looking good. Um, oh, sponsored by Kraken. They're a crypto exchange, I guess. Uh, yeah, they are. Um, dump and pump stage. Great. Okay, White Rabbit. Um, yeah, okay. What's this? Try it on. Okay. Oh, wow. Please let me go in here. I'm really glad we got here at the end. 
this is definitely the best business. This is better than the casino, better than the NFT galleries. Let me in. Oh, no, it looks like they're still building it and we can't go in. Damn it, doesn't that look fun? I want to go run around there. Ah, oh, bro. Mm. Okay, I am here. Yeah, okay, fair dues. This is a good use of Decentraland, I think, building a, a big festival. Yep, fantastic. It's just a shame that this would cost millions for this land to be able to build this. Maybe we'll have some sort of exchange where we can trade land, you know, for certain times and we'll end up with, like, yeah, showcase circuits in Decentraland and stuff. <laughs> I could see that happening. Um, oh my god, yep, let's go in here. Thank you very much. What is this thing? It's nothing. Oh, and I fell out. Okay. And where are the people, man? Like, I know that there's, like, not that many users of Decentraland. It's something... Uh, I don't know. I've heard different figures. I've heard 1,000 monthly users. I've heard 300,000 monthly users. Um, but it's it's not huge, considering how much the pieces of land sell for. Um, but yeah, okay, this was quite cool, a festival. I mean, that's it really. This was just meant to be just a little guide. The thing is, like, I'm hoping that you watch this and you see how easy this is to use. Like, I'm literally just running around moving my mouse on a flat, you know, computer screen. You can access this from basically any computer browser, I believe, or the main ones anyway. And so, yeah, that's it. Hop into Decentraland, have some fun. It's like The Sims, but it's 2021. <laughs> and um, yeah, you can build stuff if you're a multimillionaire. If you're not, you can interact with stuff like this. And for now, like I say, for NFT galleries and other things, yeah, it seems interesting, but it has a long way to go, doesn't it? So let's see where it goes. It's an interesting first step. And then hopefully I'll play with the sandbox, I'll play with maybe Axie Infinity or some things like this if this video is interesting. So that's just it. That's the absolute basics of entering the decentralized metaverse. I hope that was useful. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, if you've not subscribed, please do, because I'm going to be doing more stuff related to crypto, NFTs, metaverse projects, and all that stuff that I'm very interested in. And uh, yeah, Decentraland, you know it's a big one, but there are some other big things we're going to cover too. Some very cool stuff happening very soon. Thank you very much. Ta-ra.